You've probably heard of candida and you may have even suffered from candida, but what is it and how do you handle it? Well, a lot of people go on extremely restrictive diets and this can be very helpful because sugar does feed candida. But the problem is the diet alone is not what causes it to develop. And so the diet alone will not correct it. Candida is an opportunistic organism. What the heck does that mean? It means that the seeds are always there in your body, but they bloom out into the fungus and cause you health problems when certain things stress your body. So one of those things is antibiotics. You know, if you're a female and you've had to take antibiotics, you may have gotten a yeast infection. That's what we're talking about. Or if you, um, you know, if you're, if you as a kid have to take multiple rounds of antibiotics for ear infections or whatever, that allows it to get out of control. And then for the rest of your life, you seem to be fighting candida. It causes a lot of very uncomfortable symptoms, you know, brain fog, um, itching. Uh, personally, I happen to be allergic to candida. So if I get an overgrowth, I get the allergy symptoms. It's just, it's miserable. It causes inflammation in everyone and it's just bad for your immune system. It's a constant drain for your body trying to handle this. So I want to help you to know how to get candida under control in your body. Yes, the diet is an important step. So you want to take a look at your sugar consumption. You want to take a look at how many carbohydrates you get in a day and you don't want to be overdoing it with sugar or carbs. Even things like fruit juice that you might think of as healthy are super high sugar. So take a look at your diet and get that under control first. Then I want to give you a few things. I carry these on my full script site if you need a source to order and the link is in the link tree. But here are things that I've had really good success with treating candida. Two of these are energetics products. One is called Mycocan Core, and the other one is Core Powdiarco. Now, both of these deliver a one-two punch for the Candida. They're super easy to use. You use um, a squirt under the tongue two to three times a day on the, um, on the uh, Mycocan Core and then you do a squirt twice a day of the core Powdiarco in water. I've had people with out of control candida for, you know, really years before they come see me, and this clears it up very nicely. Another product I've had really good success with is Vitanica Candida Stat. Vitanica is a company that was formed by two naturopaths in Seattle, and they make wonderful products. All of these are available on the full script site. If you decide to do the capsules, the Candida Stat, if you prefer a capsule, this is two twice a day with a meal. So get the Candida under control. Uh, look at my videos on alkalizing your body because that's very important also to keeping Candida under control, which is basically your vegetables, your green drinks, things like that get that alkalinity going, cut out the sugar, and then you can use these products to get rid of that nasty candida. So symptoms of chronic candida would be things like uh, vaginal infections, um, even bacterial vaginosis, although that's not candida. When the environment gets so out of control that the bacteria grows like that, you're gonna have candida as a part of that. A white coating on your tongue called in, in an extreme case called thrush, and it can be a white coating on your tongue, on the inside of your cheeks. You see little kids with this. This is also candida. Uh, who has toenail fungus? Those kinds of fungal infections, you know, jock itch, all those things get out of control because candida is there fueling that fire and the fungus, candida is a fungus. But candida has a lot of thuggy friends and cousins and so forth that it, it's not gonna exist you know, by itself. All the things I talk about to help candida will help with a fungal overgrowth in general. 